Hi everyone, it's TYT with TYT Family of Interest here. In this video, I have to travel to Los Angeles for work. While I'm out there, I'm going to explore a local beach and try to do some fishing to see if I can catch some fish. Stay tuned and check out the video, guys. All right, bye kids. Bye. Have a good week without your dad. <laughs> So it's actually my first time checking in um, my fishing rods as a baggage and I'm hoping that they don't damage it or get lost because they're you know pretty expensive fishing gear so let's see what happens. You know people say that Los Angeles airport is very busy cramped and overcrowded but my experience here is that it's not that bad. It's not as bad as people say it is. Here we are. All right, I got my luggage, got my fishing rod. Let's go get the car rental. Rental car, cross center to medium. All right, Enterprise. Get out of here. Well, I got my car rental and uh, I'm very hungry. It's already 1.30, so let's go get some lunch. Well, that foot place was pretty good. Is it the best I ever had? No. Will it suffice? Yeah. All right, here we are. Got uh, two beds, one for sleeping, one for fun. All right. Whenever I travel for work, my workplace always gives us a per diem for the week for food. I never use all the per diem. I pocket it for fishing gear. Instead, I eat like this. Bam! Noodles, beef jerky, nuts, and nutri green bars. That's all I need to survive for this week. And for those of you who wonder where I get hot water from, right there, coffee maker. Well, I'm here at the uh, Doc Willow Park. Let's see what it's all about. All right, so it's, uh, as far as I know, to the left of me, there is a, uh, a rock wall, a rock jetty, actually. I don't know if you can see it from here. But yeah, there's a jetty over there, and on this side, there's a little pier. Well, I, I'm not really dressed up for the jetty, so we're gonna head to the pier and uh, see if we can catch any fish over there. Let's check it out. So I brought with me my Shimano CI Plus 4000 and a Shimano so we're gonna put this to use and do a little bit of surf fishing on the uh, pier over there. Maybe tomorrow I'll come back and try the uh, the jetty to see if there's any fish over there. And uh, since I'm not I'm not home, I wasn't able to bring too much stuff, so I brought me some lures. Use my old tackle box, but yeah, I got some lures and some uh, uh, some flukes right here. We're gonna put that to use to see if we can catch any fish. I also use, uh, when I'm out here on the surf, I brought some small hooks and uh, swivels and weights. Not too much stuff because I'm only gonna be here for a few days for the week to fish. But yeah, just your basic, basic uh, setups. And I'll be using 
20 pound P-Line. Now for bait, if I'm gonna be throwing a hook out there, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna run to the store tomorrow to grab like some shrimp, or if not shrimp, then like some squid. I don't think you could use shrimp out here. I'm not too sure. I'm not much of a surf fisherman. I'll check out the regs. I also brought some of these gulp uh, worms though. Uh, we use these for saltwater fishing. So I'm not much of a surf fisherman. So most of the time I'm doing, you know, uh, river fishing, lake fishing, uh, just freshwater fishing. When I do fish the ocean, I'll fish the Bay Area. You know, fish for halibut, stingray sharks for fun. Um, but yeah, out here on the surf, even though I'm close to the surf areas, uh, I haven't done too much surf fishing, so I don't know all those great areas. I don't know all the, uh, uh, you know, laws and regulations for it. So everything I catch out here is going to be CNR. Um, especially since I'm traveling, there's no way for me to really keep them anyways. I don't have a freezer. I don't have the proper tools to fillet fish. And uh, there's no one here for me to give away fish to. So, yeah, I'll be catching and releasing everything that I catch. And if I catch anything, really. Now, I know usually when you're fishing the surf, you want to try to catch some sand crabs and use sand crabs to fish. You could catch surf perch and stripers and all, all sorts of fish out here. Well, I don't have the proper shoes or gear. So I'm not even going to try yet. Maybe tomorrow I'll stop by Target or Walmart, grab some sandals and grab a little shovel and do some digging after work and see if I could get some good bait. But if not, that's okay. I'm going to use what I have and see if I can't catch a fish. Well, I made it here to the pier and to my surprise, there's not a single person here fishing. But I think it might be because of the wind. The forecast said seven to 10 miles per hour. This feels more like 20. And those waves down there, those waves are like 10 to 2 feet. Swells breaking right there. Take a look. But I feel pretty safe up here. It's uh, locked up, there's gates. So it should be okay. Let's see if I can catch some fish. All right, so change of plans. And now I understand why there's a guy at the uh, rock. There's a guy at the uh, jetty. So they're at the jetty because uh, this pier is actually boarded off and blocked off. I don't think they're letting anyone inside there. So we're just gonna fish up here. I checked the tide. The tide said uh, it's uh, incoming. I'm only using a two ounce weight to see if it holds up. Two ounce weight and a gold worm. Let's go. Uh, yep, I had a bite. out here so I think I'm gonna call it a day and uh, head back to the car all right so I'm back at the car it was uh, very very windy out there um, a couple of things I noticed so when I first started fishing I was casting it as far as I can out to the open water and there was nothing happening I started paying attention closer to shore and I started realizing that 
there were uh, these birds. They were swimming around and diving and then coming back up and then diving, coming back up and then diving. And when they were doing that, I was paying attention to what they were eating. And when they were diving, it's when they, it's when the uh, water would push back out to the ocean and they would be diving to eat uh, the uh, sand crabs. And then while, while I was watching them do that, I also started noticing that there was fish around them that were doing the same thing. So I decided to cast a lot closer. And when I did, that's when I started getting those few hits and those few bites. I didn't hook up on them. My reaction was a little slow, but I knew there were fish bites because they're different from when the waves are breaking in and out. I've uh, surf fish before, so I could tell the difference between the surf breaking and uh, the uh, fish biting. But overall, it was a great experience. When I come back out here, I'm going to be a little more prepared. Got our bowl of noodle here for breakfast. Cheap but efficient. It's now Wednesday. I'm done with work and heading back to the beach. Here we are again, back at this beach over here. I think it's pronounced Doc Wheeler or Doc Wyler, however it's pronounced. Um, today is not as windy as Monday when it came out, and so I'm hoping that I could do some a little bit better on the fishing. Um, that pier was closed when I came out here on Monday. I don't think it's gonna be open because it was boarded up. I'm gonna head to the jetty, the little rock wall right there, and well, I'll walk across the uh, rocks and do some fishing over there. So let's see if I could catch some fish over there or not. Um, I checked the tide, and right now it's low tide. It's like a negative 0.4 feet. When it was high tide earlier today, it was up to four feet. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anything could happen. So it is definitely a lot better today. The wind is not as strong as it was on Monday and I might be able to climb those rocks because of that. Water's not splashing too high. Hopefully I catch some fish. This jetty's kind of sketchy, but I think it's okay. Let's try it out. I haven't had any luck throwing the goat worm, so I'm gonna switch it up to a fluke and see if I can catch any fish with that. Somebody left some squid on these rocks, so I'm going to use it as bait. Sometimes it can get pretty hard to tell if it's a fish bite or not because of the waves, but when you've been fishing long enough, you can kind of tell what's a bite, what's the water pushing the weight or the line. Look at all of these mussels everywhere. Just waiting to be picked up and used as bait.
So uh, check it out, y'all. I started using mussels and uh, I got a couple bites. So let's see if I can hook up a fish. All right, guys, this is my last cast. It's starting to get real dark out here, and I don't have a light to get back to the uh, beach. So last cast, and hopefully I catch a fish. I don't know why, but I can't hook those guys. Well, I'm out of here. It is just gorgeous out here, guys. Just beautiful. All right, well, I gotta head back, so hopefully I don't swamp. See you guys next time, thank you. Yeah, I will not want to be walking back on this in the dark. <laughs> Definitely not. It's probably like a 15 feet drop down there too. <sighs> All right, I made it back on land. So at nighttime in the evening, when the sun has set, people come out and make bonfires out here and hang out by the beach. It's pretty cool. So just a little recap of today. I was out here at about 4.30, fished until almost sunset, and then a fellow fisherman showed up. Um, I was using the gulp worm, uh, the leftover squid that I found, and my flukes. I didn't have one bite. When that fellow fisherman showed up, he said, yeah, we just, you know, yesterday we caught a lot of fish here. Um, you want to use mussels. And he had a bag of mussels with him. So he offered the mussels. I used a couple mussels and I started getting bites right away. The bites were very soft. I uh, had a couple of good bites, but every time I set the hook, I missed. I was, maybe, maybe my hook was too big. Maybe I just didn't have enough time and I was rushing the, the hook set. But whatever the case is, it was a great learning experience. If I have time tomorrow before I leave back home, I'm gonna try one more time to see if I can hook a fish. You know, this hotel that I sit at isn't too bad. I'm here at the West End by Los Angeles Airport. And uh, I, I mean, I don't request for too much service, but the rooms are pretty spacious. The heater and AC worked pretty well. The bed was pretty comfortable. They gave us like, they gave me like eight pillows. And so that was really nice. And the bed was very thick and warm, so. I have my AC on the whole time, even though it's like 60 degrees outside. But I like my room nice and cold. So, all right, well, today's Friday. Today's the last day to try to catch any fish before going back home. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit early morning fishing and see if I can catch some fish. See you guys. Today is such a nice day compared to all the other days I was out here. Just look at that. Those breakers are not too big and there's absolutely no wind out here today. I only got about a one and a half hour window to fish before I gotta head to the airport. So let's see if I can catch some fish on here, guys. My last chance to put some fish on the on the screen. Look how low the water is though. Look at that uh the compared to the other days. Water is very low. Hoping hoping there's fish out here, but we'll see what happens. There's a family over there, they're digging for mussels. And so I give them 10 bucks and uh, I grab me some mussels. Now I have bait without having to dig for it. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 
all of this is wet up here so and it was windy last night too so i'm pretty sure it pushed those uh waves all the way up here and they were breaking above the the rock wall all right oh yeah that's water on these rocks for sure Well, I made it back out here. Time to set up my fishing stuff, guys. So, to get these mussels open, I'm just smashing them on the ground, on the rocks here. Smashing them on the rocks and then peeling the shell off to get the mussel, the, the meat itself. And it's actually uh, not as difficult as I thought it'd be. But once, uh, once you break the shell, you can just scoop the meat right out. Don't try to pry them open. I already tried that with my hands, it didn't work. I just broke one side of the shell and then now I'm just scooping it out with my thumb. Oh, hold up. Got it out. Time to use that as bait. Muscles are very sticky, so I brought a water bottle to wash my hands because I'm kind of skeptical about trying to get down there to the breakers to wash my hands. A nice day out here and there's a lot of surfers out today. A couple things that I noticed this morning while I'm out here. Um, today's current is very strong compared to the last couple times I was out here. That's probably why the surfers are out here doing some surfing but I'm throwing a three ounce and if I throw it a little too far to the right or you know too close to the shore it gets pushed into the shoreline. If I throw it a little bit too far out then the current kicks it out and my weight doesn't stay on the bottom. If I hit it just right then it does stick around for about five to ten you know minutes and I am getting a few bites but it's very very small nibbles. You could you know barely feel the bite and when you do sometimes it's too late. When I reel it in, the bait's gone already. So even though today's conditions are a lot better to be fishing, the other conditions such as the uh, tide, the, the strength of the current, and uh, things like that are making fishing more difficult. So in my experience, surf fishing, you gotta pay real close attention to the weather, the tide, and the surf. Well, I'm down to my last muscle. I've missed a few bites, but we're gonna wait a little bit, let the tide come up a little more, and then cast it in and see if uh, I can get a, you know, a decent fish bite and hook onto a fish. If not, that's okay. Being out here was a great experience, and it sure as heck beat being in the hotel.
can't believe it. I did it. On the very last bustle too, I caught a fish. This looks like a perch. Some kind of some kind of perch. But you know what? I'm not out here to keep any fish. I'm just happy. I'm just happy that I caught a fish. Wow. <laughs> I am so stoked. Look how beautiful this fish is. Sorry about the blood. <laughs> but man, I just I'm so happy. I mean I it's been four days. I've uh, skunked every time I came out here and all I wanted to do was catch at least one fish. So there it is. Oh my gosh, on the last muscle too. I'm happy to go home. <laughs> All right, let's let the tide come up. There you go. I'll see you next time. Ugh. All right, Doc Wheeler or Doc Wheeler, however you pronounce it. I'll see you guys next time I come to LA. All right, everyone. So my experience out here at this beach is that it's pretty awesome. Um, the fishing is definitely good if you're using the right bait and fishing at the right tide. And if the weather doesn't, you know, it's not too windy or rainy. I hope that uh, we get to catch another video out here one day. See you guys. Soon.